Okay, just how dangerous is methyl alcohol? Okay, how dangerous is it? You've all heard of, you pronounce it methyl alcohol, don't you? Anyway, it's, what it is, is a very, very small alcohol. It's half the size of drinking alcohol. So it's just a small molecule. It's got one carbon, minute. Drinking alcohol has got two carbons. Drinking alcohol is extremely safe. We'll show you that in a minute. Methyl alcohol to humans is extremely toxic and to no other laboratory animal. Okay. One touch, one touch of methyl alcohol on the skin of an infant can kill it. Yeah, this is a study that I have in uh, all these, by the way, if you want to read any of these articles, they're all on my website. That's the number of the article and you can read it in total. But what happened in Egypt? They were vaccinating kids in Egypt with children. And they ran out of ethanol to swab the vaccination. So all they could find was methylated spirits. Okay. And the methylated spirits in Egypt is, is very high in methyl alcohol. It's about 40% methyl alcohol. So all they did was swab those vaccinations. Six children were, were swabbed with methanol. And within five days, those children were dead. It took them years to discover what the cause was because methanol does not leave any trace. Methyl alcohol turns into formaldehyde. The formaldehyde disappears almost immediately. But they finally were able to trace it back to that one bottle of methylated spirits. So that's how deadly it is. We don't even know for sure what the lethal dose of methyl alcohol is in humans. Methylate, this is an interesting story. Methylated spirits, when I gave her a lecture to the Multiple Sclerosis Society, I wanted to get some methanol to show the, the members. So I just went to the hardware store and looked for methylated spirits. What methylated spirits is, back in the old days, when they put a tax on ethyl alcohol, they wanted to collect that tax. So they wanted to make the alcohol that was used to clean your toilets or your, your tile, they wanted to make sure that nobody's going to drink it, so they added methyl alcohol to it and you call it methylated spirits. New Zealand, being a gentle country, only added originally 5% methyl alcohol, and then some years later they changed it to 2% methyl alcohol. Okay, So I was expecting to get some 2% methyl alcohol when I went to the hardware store. Well, it was too dangerous for New Zealand. Just 2% methyl alcohol was considered to be too dangerous. Okay. Methylated spirits from June 2007 will no longer contain the poison of substance methanol. Okay. This is from Irma, New Zealand, who made the decision. Due to concerns raised for years by coroners, medical practitioners, social workers, and the public about damage to the health and, in extreme cases, death from methylated spirits containing 2% methanol. Well, pure aspartame, or equal, contains methanol. Well, how much? Okay, there's methylated spirits, which used to contain 2%, now contains nothing because it's too dangerous. Here's equal. How many people use equal? Oh, come on. Oh, okay, congratulations. You're still alive. You're looking good. <laughs> this package of equal contains 21% pure aspartame. And that means that that substance in that package, which you can just pop down your throat, because it tastes sweet, you can actually do that if you want, consume this stuff, pure, contains 2.3% methanol. How on earth does the Food Safety Authority think they can get away with this stupidity? 2.3% methanol, and something you can put on your kid's cereal. No, this is a crime. What's happening here in this country is a crime. The truth is that in the literature, one teaspoon of methanol killed a 70 kilogram person. The minimum lethal dose of a poison is extremely important to a toxicologist. It's vital to understand 
what's the minimal lethal dose? Because then you go down a thousand times and maybe it's safe to put that amount of product in the environment. Here's a lethal dose, the minimum lethal dose, the smallest amount necessary to kill a rat is nine grams per kilogram. Now here's the thing, don't let this confuse you. Not grams per kilogram is just a way to even things up. You know, if you have a little rat and you want to give it a dose of, of methanol, you know, you have to weigh the rat to compare it to what you get to a human. So always when we talk about a toxic dose, we talk about weight per kilogram, weight of the poison per kilogram. I'll show you, I'm gonna show you a big rat here in a few minutes. Okay, so a rat takes nine grams per kilogram, or 630 grams if you had a 60 kilo, 70 kilogram rat. I hope none of you do have one of those. Okay, dogs, look at dogs, about the same. Rabbits are a little bit less. Man, what about man? Six grams to kill a 70 kilogram person. What's such a difference? It's a, why? I'm going to tell you exactly why. I'm going to show you the, the science of it. You'll be bored to death, I'm sure. But you'll know the truth when I get through with it. And it's a great question. Just coming right up. A hundred times difference. This is the important thing for you to remember. Humans are a hundred times more sensitive than every single experimental animal, animal including, including the monkey. I mean, the monkey is varies tremendously. And it, it cannot be used. No animal can be used to test methanol. You're the only animals that can be used to test methanol. And you're, it's being tested on you and it's failed, and I'll show you how, what I mean in a bit. Okay, one shot of methanol, literally a shot of methanol, will kill a 70 kilogram person. It takes 100 shots to kill a rat. 